welcome back to my channel and for this week's video I'm going to be doing a celebrity inspired makeup tutorial. So because I'm a huge, huge fan of Pretty Little Liars, um, I decided to recreate a look from Shay Mitchell. So this look uh, that she wore was at the Teen Choice Awards and I felt like it just looked super easy to achieve. It wasn't too dramatic or anything like that. And what I love the most about it was the dark lips. I think this is super appropriate, especially for right now because fall is coming, right? I love, love, love dark lips. So I thought this look would be a super great look to recreate for you guys and you can wear it for the fall. So if you want to learn how to achieve this celebrity inspired look from Shay Mitchell, then just keep watching. All right, let's get started. So using the Lorac eyeshadow primer that comes with the palette, we're gonna start by applying this all over the eyelid. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna really help um, bring out those eyeshadow colors and just make sure that it doesn't crease and that it lasts all day long. Next, using the Lorac Pro Palette, the first one, and using that matte brown color taupe, we're gonna start by using this with our Sigma E40 blending brush. And you're gonna add this all over your crease and this is gonna be used as your transition shade to really help um, ensure that all of the eyeshadow colors that we're using uh, blend very well together. Next, using my Sigma E45 brush and both the colors Sable and Espresso mixed together, I'm going to add this to the outer V and the crease and you really wanna focus on that outer V because in the picture I noticed she kinda of had that winged effect um, but without the harsh eyeliner. So that's what I'm trying to create here with the eyeshadows, uh, Sable and Espresso. So just really make sure you wing it out and just focus on that outer V until you get it to that perfect shape that you want. Now going back in with that E40 blending brush that you used with the color taupe, you just wanna go back over all the work that you just did and you just wanna blend everything so that there's no harsh lines or anything. So take your time here and just make sure that everything is really blended. Next, using my Sigma E58 brush and the color champagne and gold mixed together from the palette. Here I'm adding this all over the eyelid um, really just packing it on until I get the desired color that I want and I think just the combination of these two colors are just so gorgeous and just make the look uh, just beautiful. Now going back in with the Sigma E40 blending brush just go back over all the work that you did and blend everything very well. Now using the color cream from the palette here I'm gonna be using this as my highlight color under my brow bone so here I'm just packing it on under the brow bone and with my finger here, I'm just kind of blending it out a little bit so the color is not so harsh. Here, just using a black liquid eyeliner, I'm just gonna add a really thin line to the upper lash line. I'm not gonna create a winged eyeliner or anything like that because in the picture, she did not have that. So for this look, I'm gonna be adding some red cherry lashes and to apply them, I'm gonna be using House of Lashes glue. This glue is one of my favorite lash glues now. I've been using, I was using Duo Lash Glue for the longest time and I recently purchased this and I'm in love with it. If you haven't tried it, definitely recommend it. So here also, if you wanna learn how I apply false eyelashes, go ahead and click on that annotation to the right. Now using my Sigma E20 Short Shader Brush and going back in with the colors Taupe and Sable, I'm gonna mix those two colors together. And here I'm gonna be adding this to the lower lash line. And just go ahead and apply it all over, um, mainly focusing on the outer corner of your eye, um, from the middle to the, to the outer corner. And just go ahead and pack it on until you get your desired color. Now using my Sigma E21 smudge brush and the color gold from the palette, here I'm just gonna be applying this all over the lower lash line. Here using Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, I'm just gonna add this to my false lashes just to make sure that they blend well with my natural lashes. And don't forget to add mascara to your lower lashes. So here using Max Mineralize Skin Finish in Give Me Sun, 
and also using my Real Techniques blush brush. I noticed that in the picture she had a really beautiful bronzy glow to her. So here I'm just gonna be adding this to my cheek, to the hollows of my cheeks, my temples, on the top of my forehead, and also a little bit on my neck just to kind of, or on my chin to kind of make sure that everything is blended together from my face to my neck. I forgot to mention that I had already applied foundation before I started filming, so in this video I used the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. So here, using Max Blush in the color Honey Jasmine, I'm going to be adding this to my cheekbones and just kind of make sure that you blend it back towards your hairline and just keep on packing it on until you get that color that you like. So here, using my Sigma F35 Tapered Highlighter and the Balm's Mary Luminizer. Um, in the picture, she had just this beautiful glow, so I decided to use this product, and I just love it. You just want to add this to the tops of your cheekbones, and it just gives you that beautiful glow, and I'm all about that glow life. I love it. All right, so we're done with the face and the eyes, and now we're going to move on to the lips, which is my favorite part. So first we're gonna start by lining our lips and here I'm gonna be using Revlon's Color Stay Lip Liner in the color Wine, which is one of my favorite lip liners. Now here using one of my favorite lipstick colors in the color Dubonnet from MAC, I'm gonna apply it all over and I'm also gonna use my lip brush um, LO5 from Sigma to apply. And here's the finished look. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this Shane Mitchell makeup inspired tutorial. If you guys like this video, go ahead and click on that like button. Also, if you already haven't, please, please, please subscribe to my channel. I do release a video every single Friday, so you don't want to miss out. And also head over to bootcampbeauty.com where there you'll get a chance to receive a free video tutorial sent directly to your email each week. So alright guys, I'll see you in the next week.